Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I know that I am tardy to the party with this Ogden Canby deal, but hey, better late than never, and I want to chat with you about it. So if you are interested in chatting with me about my wonderful new Ogden Cami, please continue to watch. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Talisha, also known as Creativity by T, and I am coming to you today with my brand new sewing make, the infamous Ogden Candy that I am so proud of. <laughs> I have finally made it. Like I said, this is my very first Ogden Cami and I am in absolute love. I absolutely love it. I have been wanting to make this for a very long time, but I never got around to it for whatever reason. And after I made my last sewing make, I wanted to keep sewing, but I wanted to make something simple. So I said to myself, why not just make the Ogden Cami? I've been wanting to do that for a while. So that is exactly what I did. And I paired it with this denim pair of shorts that I have on that I made two years ago using Simplicity 8651. And although I made it two years ago, it still is in print if that's something that you are interested in. So I have seen this on people for the longest by Instagram and on YouTube. And although it's just the cami, it's something different about this one. It's it's like whenever I see it on someone, I automatically know it's the Ogden cami because it has its own look. And I think it's just beautiful and I love the way it flows. So when I decided to make this, I went to my fabric stash to see which fabric I wanted to pull out. And I found this um, eggshell crepe fabric that I had purchased from one of those bundles from Walmart and that was just a little while ago not too long ago but this um, was two yards I had two yards of it in that bundle and it was for four dollars on that roll which means I made this wonderful <laughs> Ogden cami for four dollars actually a little less because I had a little fabric left over but um, this fabric is not a cheap fabric so I think you can get this for about eight dollars on sale yard at Joann's but I know that sometimes you can get junk in those rolls at Walmart but this is definitely a gem and I was able to make my beautiful Ogden cami out of this but anyway back to the cami so again this is the Ogden cami and I made it with the wider straps um, I know there's other another version of the Ogden cami and it has the thinner straps but again this is the wider strap and this pattern is made by True Bias and it's an independent pattern company and the cost of this pattern is $12 um, within the pattern description they describe it as a simple blouse that could be worn on its own or as a layering piece under blazers or cardigans it has a soft v-neck at both the center front and center back necklines and like I said the three-quarter inch wide straps the neckline and armholes are finished with a partial lining for a beautiful high-end finish and that is exactly what it is it has a very beautiful high-end finish so the fabric recommendations for this cami are lightweight woven fabrics such as silk crepe which is what I've made mine in rayon um, cotton lawn file and lightweight linen and the pattern sizing for the one that I made is a 14 to 30 and it's designed to have a D cup and I cut an 18 and I was torn with the decision of cutting a 16 or an 18 but I went with the 18 because the finished bust measurement for the 16 was 45.5 and my bust measurement is a perfect 45 but the fabric is crepe and it has no stretch at all in it so I wanted to be safer and I went with the, high, the higher size of 18 that had a finished bust measurement of 47.5 which gave two inches of wiggle room but uh, I probably should have went with the 16 
um, I did have to take two inches off of the straps but I should have taken off even more that's why I think I should have went with the size 18 because I think overall the cami is beautiful but it is big and like I said that's just me overthinking um, and as you can see um, well I'll put pictures in here but like the armpit area it shows a lot of my bra because of the bigger size but like I said all I need to do is just cut out a smaller size the next time and um, I am going to make another one really really soon and I will be able to do an update because I am going to cut that smaller size when I do make another one now if you are a fan of the Ogden Cami, you know that there, like I said earlier, is a version with the thinner straps. And that is for the smaller sizes, I think from the 0 to 14s. But like I said, um, because of my bus size, I have to make the bigger size and these straps accommodate, um, you know, the fullness, I believe, of it. That's in my opinion. And so these are three quarter inch straps and um, I just... I just really like the overall finish of it with these straps. I think it makes it look classier. Um, the other reason why I like these straps is because if you do wear a visible bra, you know, it will cover it partially, if not all the way. Now, I do have a bra under here, but I wear clear strap bras when I wear um, things like this because I don't like the look of bra straps showing. However, I'm not one to go braless. So, um, but like I said, I, I do think it will help camouflage that look especially if you're wearing like a black um, Agni Cami with the black bra then that wouldn't be bad at all overall I do think it looked like the pattern cover and the line drawings I, I absolutely do think it came out wonderful um, the instructions were very very super easy to follow I mean I just felt like they were having a conversation with me because it it was just very to the point with those instructions and what i like most about it like i said with straps how wide the straps are for this size i love how flowy it is um, i like that they kept the d cup in mind because that's not something that bigger busted women all get and i like the fact that this cami is partially lined um, Again, I used the crepe fabric that I purchased from Walmart for $4. And I was looking at this as a wearable muslin, which is why I went to that bundle. But I mean, the fabric is so nice, even though it's big, I'm still gonna wear it. I'm gonna adjust the straps so that it's not so um, low under the arms, but I'll continue to wear it even though it's still a little big. Um, but I did not make any pattern alterations. Um, aside from taking some of the length of the straps away but they actually tell you to do that to adjust the straps to your liking within the instructions so that's not really an alteration that's a suggestion that they give anyway and i would definitely definitely sew this again you have not seen the end of these i'm going to be making them all the time um, Martika from Martika J. Souls had uh, uploaded a video not too long ago and she was given ideas on what to use with your scrap fabric and she had mentioned that the Ogden Cami is a very good option and it really really is. Uh, you don't need even the amount of fabric uh, in, in one particular cut that they even suggested you have because the other the lining part you can use a different type of fabric like a solid fabric so say if this was like a checker print whatever one of the checker colors are you can use a solid color for the interior part for the lining so it's a very good very good scrap busting project so i definitely agree with that hope i didn't confuse you with my rambling sometimes i get excited and just start talking but I did not do anything different to make this project. Um, all, I, all I needed was the instructions from True Bias and it just came together wonderfully. And I definitely recommend this for us. So now I will go ahead and enter a clip and a few pictures so that I can model the Ogden Cami for you. Again, this pattern is 
very well put together and the instructions are super duper clear. To me, this looks like a very expensive piece of clothing and the height on this pattern did not disappoint at all. Well, that is it for my little chit chat of the infamous Ogden Cami. I absolutely love this and you will definitely be seeing more of this in my videos and on my Instagram timeline. And I, like I said, I know I am late to the Ogden Cami party, but I hope you found this information helpful or at least interesting or entertaining, whatever. <laughs> So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like, thumbs up. Please don't forget to do that. And then thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate everyone that takes the time to watch my videos. And if you have not done so already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you have already subscribed, I thank you for sticking with me and again for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.